Hello, I'm going to give you an overview of how the Fast Woo Credit plugin for WooCommerce works. Now, this is our Fast Member website, and this is the listing for the Woo Credit plugin itself. As you can see, it's just a normal WooCommerce listing, so we've got the Add to Cart button and some information about the product. What we have up here is a available store credit dialog that tells us how many credits we have available. Because we're not actually logged in, it won't show a balance. So if I go to a page where I'm logged in, and you can see the available store credit here is 52. So you can see some differences on this page already. So now that we're logged in, we can see that there's a credit value for this plugin. And there's a button that says get with credit. And then below that, there's the actual add to cart button. So if we compare those two pages, that's a normal listing. And that's a listing when we're logged in. So if I show you the back end of this plugin, it's going to make a bit more sense. So this listing gives a few ideas of how it looks, but it's going to be easier for you to actually see in this video. So I'm going to go to the products and here we have all our products listed on the website. And if I go to the WooCredit uh, product itself, and we go down to the WooCommerce options, you can see there's a box here for credit purchase. So if I uncheck that, that's the normal WooCommerce listing. So we've got the price, etc. Now, if we check this box, we see a few more options added. So the credit value for this particular product is three. And then we have a credit confirm URL. So that's going to be the page they're taken to once they've purchased using the credit. And then that's the button text. So you can use anything there. And then there's a bo box here, remove add to cart. So this will allow you to only purchase that product when they're using credit. So if I check that and update, you can immediately see there's no option to actually buy it. If I go to where we're not logged in, the option is there when we're not logged in, but if we're logged in as a member with credit, then the only option is to actually get it with the credit. So the way that the your customers will actually purchase the credit is by going back into products. And you see we have uh, some credit packs here. So if we go into the credit pack and there's the difference with these products is that the product data type is changed to a fast credit product. And then we actually put a value for that product. So the product price and then the value. So basically they're gonna purchase this product and it's gonna give them seven credits. And then when they use those credits, well, those credits will be listed up here. And this is added basically using a short code. So you can add this number anywhere on your website, like we've added it up here as well. And then the value that is there will be deducted from this amount so that each user when they purchase credits gets a credit balance and then this balance is here so it can be manually adjusted as well so the fast wheel credit settings each user gets a credit balance and you can manually increase or decrease their credits so if i give you a quick demonstration of how the credit works so so say your user wants to purchase this product and they have a credit balance here, they see this item, they can either get it with the credit or add to cart. Basically, if I hit that get with credit button, you can see that it's, this particular listing has changed to a download now button because I have another plugin that's making the buy now buttons turn into download buttons. But basically, it's refreshed the page. In our products, we have the URL that it redirected to, to set to basically the same page. So it's redirected to the same page and they can download it. But if you're wanting to send them to another page, it's going to take them there. It's deducted from the credit balance, whatever the value of that uh, credit plugin was, which was three. And they now have access to that product. Uh, there should be an order within WooCommerce. So if we go into our orders, here we are. It's come by a fast credit. And you can see that the order is here for the value of that, but the actual amount is zero because they've already used the, they've already purchased. So it won't go 
it won't go into your transactions as a balance that's going to mess up your stats because the purchase amount has already been made. Okay, so I hope this video explains how the FastWoo Credit plugin works. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Otherwise, just hit the order button and we'll see you on the inside.